Hey everybody, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a great day so far, but say it with me, it's about to get better because today's reaction is to Mr. Dimash singing El Amor and T. I'm so excited to listen to this live performance today, but before we get started, I want to give a very special shout out to Joshua. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and liking and commenting on my videos. Your support means the world to me, so thank you so, so much, Joshua. And if you would like to be the next video shout out, all you have to do is make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment anything you like down below. It could be the next video shout out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, today we are getting beautiful space from Dimash, the beautiful operatic tone. Even when he is hitting in his tenor, we're not pushing forward, we're keeping it in that space in the back. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I love this. I feel like we're almost getting a more dramatic, mature tone from Dimash today. It feels a little bit different than what I've reviewed from Dimash previously. I feel like we're getting a lot more depthfulness in his operatic and maybe that's more because he's in that baritone state. Beautiful vibrato and just a lot more space than I feel like I'm used to from Dimash. I love this new side that I'm getting to see today. Such great controlled vibrato. This is what I'm used to from Dimash is that more tenor tone that comes from his opera when he lifts up his palate a little bit more and it pushes forward just a tiny bit. And I love both sounds that we're getting to see. And it's cool that we have the flip of like the white and the black, the dark and the light. Beautiful. <laughs> Such a beautiful mixed tone there. And this rounded tone here as well. There it is.
this verse, you can tell how relaxed Dimash is. You can hear it in his tone. You can see it in his face and his facial expressions, how much he opens and enunciates his mouth here, which I really love. This is the Dimash that I am most used to seeing as the first was more of that depthfulness, the dark, which I'm sure that is what this is all about. We have the dark, the light, and now we are greeted by a new character. Great decrescendo there. One thing as well, I will say when we have this beautiful O's that are happening from our red character here. At the very end, he keeps his mouth open to let the sound escape rather than closing. Whenever you're doing any kind of large note, an operatic note, anything with vibrato at the end, you wanna keep your mouth open rather than close it fast because you'll close off the sound, which seems like it would be like, oh yeah, duh, that's what you should do. But always inquire, that's what they would teach us is to keep your mouth open at the end of something. You can see Dimash does it here. Keeps it open first, so it can really fall off. Okay, interesting. So those three were all pre-recorded, and then for the last two minutes here, it seems Dimash comes out and sings probably against those characters. <laughs> Okay, these are all so different. We have, it, this is just all so different. Like when Dimash is coming out now and singing, it feels more poppy. We have a lot more runs going on. It's in a completely different placement. It's almost like he's showing us all of the different voices that he sings with in one performance, which is awesome. <laughs> This is fun, all harmonizing with himself. That was beautiful. Okay, there was a lot that just happened there. I'm almost wishing that I could see every single voice. Like when you're editing on Logic Pro or something, when you really can see every single part that you have recorded, whether it be a vocal track or it be some kind of instrument, I want to see everything that's going on because these three Dimashes are pre-recorded and then we have him. I wanna know which of the Dimashes is singing what because there's so much that is going on but we're only seeing live Dimash here and I'm not really getting to know who is singing what part, which I'd be really interested to know. Okay, we're going back to the beginning. If you could see the goosebumps that are on my arm right now. 
Okay, this song was absolutely amazing. I can see why so many of you guys wanted me to react to this. I had tons of comments asking you guys to, for me to react and watch this, and I feel like I'm out of words. The woman was too stunned to speak. This was absolutely beautiful, and I feel like truly we got to hear all of Dimash's voices in one song. We got to hear his bass, his baritone, we got to hear the tenor, we got to hear the extremely beautiful opera, like in the soprano that he has, and then almost like a hip hop kind of as well, right? Wouldn't you guys agree? This was absolutely amazing to listen to. I want to go back and listen to it a hundred more times. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it, and if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the best way that you can support my channel is by visiting my Patreon. I would love to put your name here with all of my VIPs. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye.